I want that man to hurt. I want his daughter to hurt. I want his son Junior to hurt. I want all their ill-gotten gains stripped away from them. I want their name to last forever as a byword for infamy, corruption, scoundrels, scallywags. Yes, I want them to hurt. So, am I a depraved individual? Am I a whack job? Or is it something else entirely? Yes, I want them to hurt. What is the superpower of Donald J. Trump's that brings out, makes the scum rise to the surface of the pond in each one of us? Take the Robert Mueller report. Oh, he was supposed to be Lancelot riding in on his white charger to save us all with his two-year investigation, and yet the Mueller report has been revealed to have all the power and the poignancy of a soap bubble going pop. Yes, yes, yes. I have 2,876 objections to the Mueller report, but I've boiled it down to just three. Yes, objection number one. Why, why did he not interview Donald J. Trump? Bill Clinton had to had to be, had to testify before a grand jury, and he perjured himself. He said, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, I guess nine blowjobs, nine blowjobs doesn't count as sexual relations. Ah, I mean, nine blowjobs? I mean, I get one in the Oval Office. I would love to have a blowjob in the Oval Office, one blowjob, but nine? There's something really kind of strange about that, don't you think? Yes. And then not only that, then he tried to get her to perjure herself to save his bony butt. Hmm. Nice man, that Bill Clinton. Oh, but it was all a misunderstanding. Yeah, right, 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 right. But no matter how angry I got with Bill Clinton over his nine blowjobs in the Oval Office, I never wanted him to hurt. Take W. With all of his colossal mistakes, unforced errors, just because he was too busy doing his laps in the pool to do his homework. Too busy to study, read a little bit of history, right? So we have the Iraq War, where it's supposed to be this little bit of a lark. He goes in, right, and conquers a country in a weekend. And then what does he do? He disbands the Iraqi army. Or Jerry Bramer did. Somebody did. Nobody, everybody's pointing fingers and said, I didn't make the decision. Did you make the decision? Somebody decided to disband a bunch of men who were trained to kill and send them out on the street without a paycheck. Hmm. That means any thug like Mokhtar al sadr can come along and say, hey, I'll give you a paycheck. Just come fight for me. And next thing you know, we have a war on our hands, a real war that lasts 4,000 deaths later, 30 over 30,000 uh, wounds. Thank you, W. Hmm. And then with the Great Recession, don't get me started on that one. But as angry as I got with W for those mistakes, I never wanted him to hurt. Not like I want these to hurt Donald J. Trump, that daughter Ivanka of his, and Junior. Right, right. Objection number two. Ooh, how is it possible that Junior could lie before Congress? Lie about... Junior, are you aware of any foreign entities trying to influence, offering assistance to the campaign in order to influence policy? No, no, I'm not aware of any. How about Russia? Okay, maybe Russia. I just, I'm just remembering that now. But any others? No, not at all, not at all. Oh, Junior, what about George Nader? Remember him? The sleaze, the stench of Donald J. Trump's swamp in Washington. George Nader, that, that Syrian... Lebanese businessman who's basically Paul Manafort for the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, that oil-rich kingdom, and the Saudis. Yes, yes, this man who has a penchant for 13-year-old boys. He loves masturbating in front of them, forcing them to have sex with him. He's a sexual offender. Repeat over and again, again, and again. Oh, but you'll use him, won't you? You'll meet him. Oh, yes. In fact, Eric Prince set up the meeting, didn't he? Oh, and he lied before Congress, too. But that's okay. You get, you get 
you have to skate on it, don't you? Don't you? And then you lied about Trump Tower of Moscow. You lied about your involvement with it, and you lied about Ivanka's involvement with it, didn't you? Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. And what's what the hell happened in that Trump Tower meeting in Manhattan? Hmm. Objection number three. Will we ever find out? Hmm. Why did Bob Mueller not find out? And if he did find out, why is he not sharing it with us? I think we're entitled, don't you? We're the American people. Hmm. If they're selling, for selling off our foreign policy, putting on the chopping block just so he can get Trump Towers in, in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and Jerusalem, and in Moscow, and in Pyongyang, well, I think we need to know about it. Yes! Yes, we do. Hmm. Yes. So, how do we find out? Since Bob Mueller is not up to the task, since he's a sick kitten, he makes even Nancy Pelosi look strong these days. <laughs> how do we find out? I think we have to torture him. Yes, let's torture Junior. He's the weakest link in the chain. Yes, maybe we could waterboard him. Uh, no, that's so, you know, that's so 90s. Uh, hmm, what else can we do? Hmm, uh, let's, 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 let's rip out his fingernails. No, no, that's too French. Hmm, I know, let's stick little bamboo shards under his fingernails. That'll make him whine like a little puppy. <laughs> Eh, no, that's too Chinese. Hmm, something American, something typically American. I know, we'll get a bunch of, a bunch of big boobed bimbos, because those men, those Trump men, are just fascinated by them. Yes, and we'll, we'll chain Junior to that golden toilet in Trump Tower, and we'll have each one come in. You know the ones, every family has one, right? They don't really want to work, they don't want to hold on a J day job, so they find a sugar daddy. You say, you can do anything you want to me, just don't make me work, right? Right? I mean, look at Melania. <laughs> Oh, 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 she couldn't be bothered to write her own inauguration speech. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, yes, convention speech, sorry. Anyway, you knew what I mean. Right, 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 right. Right, big boob bimbos. We'll get a bunch of them. We'll come in. They'll chain them to the golden toilet in Trump Tower, and we'll march them in. They'll say, hi, Junior, like this, you know, just out of reach of his hands. So they start to sweat, and then he'll start to spittle. And then he'll start to drool, and he'll moan and groan because he'll want to touch them, but he can't one after another say, hi, Danny Jr., hi, hi, hi. And then he'll finally tell us all, and we'll finally all know what happened in the Trump Tower meeting, and then everything will go to pieces for the Trumps. Yes, their ill-gotten gains will be stripped away from them. Yes, including and particularly those trademarks. Ooh, those trademarks. Mmm, they really chop my backside something fierce. Yes, yes. Their ill-gotten gains will be taken away. Their name will come to mean infamy, corruption in the American system. That's what and they last forever as villains in the great American story. What a wonderful world that would be.